welcome. We are here at the Morning Brew live in NYC. I am your host, Jamie Telegro, and today we have our admissions counselor, Frank Mitchell, here with us. Frank, how are you doing this morning? Good. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for having me. Yeah, thank you for taking your time and coming out and, you know, talking to us. Um, I know you were celebrating recently your 19th year here at FIT, isn't that right? Yes, yeah, just uh, end of last month. Yeah. yeah. How's it been here? Like, what, what is your time at FIT like? Yeah, it's been an amazing experience. I uh, really get to interact with a, a great, you know, new students every admissions term and you know, amazing faculty that I get to work with as well. So it's been fun. That's awesome. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. So what would we like to say, like uh, students coming here, coming out of high school, they're looking into FIT, what are like some major requirements that you would say that uh, you're looking for when admitting a student? Okay, so a couple things. Um, one is if a student is interested in one of our art and design majors, a significant part of the requirement will be the submission of a portfolio. Mm -hmm. So we do want to see a level of skill that if this, assuming the faculty finds this to be acceptable, mm -hmm. that student can kind of go right into their major from the very first day of the first semester. Right. Um, business students do not have a project or a portfolio, so their essay is going to be a little more weighted in terms of really trying to convey to us as to why they're interested in that specific field of study. All candidates um, will be reviewed also based upon their academic high school profile. Mm -hmm. um, the programs here are quite rigorous um, and therefore we want to see someone that has demonstrated through their high school career that they can handle academic work and I'd say probably a solid B, B plus or better student mm -hmm. is going to be fairly competitive. Yeah, great. And I really like how you touched on because when I tell people personally that I come here to the Fashion Institute of Technology, they're like, oh, you're a designer. Like, uh, what can you design for me? So we have so many really, like, outstanding programs here that people don't even know about. Can you touch on that a little bit, our majors? Uh, yeah, I'll just quickly go into a very brief history of FIT. Mm -hmm. um, when we were founded 75 years ago, we had two majors, about 100 wow. students. 75 years later, we have about 30 majors and about 9,000 students. Mm -hmm. um, and clearly fashion, I think that's what we're probably most known for. Um, but there are programs also in the art and design school. Um, toy design, for example, you can actually potentially get a bachelor's degree in wow. designing toys and maybe work, wind up working for Hasbro or Mattel. Um, in the business college, for example, we have a major cosmetics, fragrance, and marketing. So it's the business side of the fragrance industry. We're the only college in the country that has a fragrance studio right here at FIT, where students in that major kind of learn partially the chemistry and science behind fragrances. Wow, yeah, I walk by that every morning mm -hmm. and I'm like, I wish I could have got <laughs> into that, let me tell you. Um, and so, like you, I, I can't believe that 75 years ago there was a hundred. Did you say a hundred yes. students? A hundred students enrolled here, and now we have 9,000. It's crazy, but also 9,000. But s we have such a diverse school as well. When you say like so many, when I sit in a classroom, I meet people from all over the world. So we have a lot of international students as well. Yes. Um Ironically, you bring that up. Um, this past weekend was our annual spring open house. Um, I had the pleasure to speak with prospective students and parents from literally across the country, internationally as well. I had asked in one session um, who thought they had traveled the furthest to join us today, and a wow. student raised her hand and she said, Israel. Wow. Um, and sh sh if she ultimately gets to FIT as a full-time student, she'd make up about 10% of international students. And this past academic year, we had over 65 countries and nationalities represented within the student body. Yes, and I love that about FIT. It's such a great quality to have. Um, so touching on that, so pretty much I think we did, uh, we, we talked about a lot of great things here today and there's so much more information um, we have on our website as well, right? We have a FITNYC.edu slash admissions here and that could 
students can head there, right, and find anything they need to know before yep, um, applying. Great links awesome. and resources. And yep. There's also a link there for students if they would like to schedule a visit and, um, and know, come, come meet with you or yep. any other counselor here. Correct. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Frank. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you for taking your time. We appreciate it. And to our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in and catch us next week here on The Morning Brew. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I definitely...